फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट माई डियर कंट्रीमैन नमस्कार दिस इज द फर्स्ट मन की बात ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड अलोंग विद इट इट इज ऑल्सो दी नाइंटी सेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इट गिवस मी ग्रेट प्लेजर टू इंटरेक्ट विद ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन एवरी ईयर द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी इज क्वाइट इवेंटफुल दिस मंथ अराउंड द फोर्टीन ऑफ जनवरी द ग्लीटर ऑफ फेस्टिवल्स abound across the country from north to south and from east to west after this the country also celebrates her republic day this time also many aspects of the republic day celebrations are being praised a lot pulkit from jaisalmer writes to me that it was great to see the workers who built the kartavya path during the 26th january parade Jaya from Kanpur writes that she enjoyed seeing different aspects of Indian culture in the tableaus included in the parade. Women camel riders and the women contingent of CRPF who took part in this parade for the first time are also being highly appreciated. Friends, Vatsal ji from Dehradun has written to me. that i always wait for the 25th of january because the padma awards are announced that day and in a way the evening of the 25th itself raises my enthusiasm for the 26th january many people have also shared their feelings about people's padma to those who have achieved through their dedication and service at the grassroots level this time there has been a good representation of the tribal community and people associated with tribal life among the padma awardees tribal life is different from the hustle and bustle of the cities its challenges are also different despite this tribal societies are always ready to preserve their traditions efforts are also made to preserve and research aspects related to tribal communities similarly many great personalities who have worked on tribal languages like toto ho kui kuvi and manda have received padma awards it is a matter of pride for all of us dhani ram toto janum singh soe and b rama krishna reddy ji the whole country has become familiar with them now people working with tribals like siddhi jarawa and onj have also been honored this time such as hira bai lobi ratan chandra kar and ishwar chandra verma ji tribal communities have been an integral part of our land our heritage their contribution in the development of the country and society is very important honoring the personalities who worked for them will also inspire the new generation this year the echoes of the padma awards are being heard even in those areas which used to be naxal affected due to their efforts those who show the right path to the misguided youth in naxalite affected areas have been honored with padma awards for this ajay kumar mandavi who does wood carving in kanked and parshuram koma ji khune associated with the famous jari patti rangbhoomi of gadchiroli have also received this honor similarly ram kwe vengbe nilume bikram bahadur jamatiya and karma wangchu who are involved in the preservation of their culture in the north east have also been honored friends there are many people who have enriched the world of music among those who have been honored with the padma awards this time who does not like music everyone's choice of music may be different but music is a part of everyone's life this time among the padma awardees are those people 
who have expertise in spreading the melody of our traditional musical instruments like santur behmoom dwitar gulam mohammad jaz mowa supo ri singbor urka lo muni venka tapa and mangal kanti rai are just a few of the names that are being discussed all around friends many padma awardees are those friends among us who always kept the country paramount dedicating their lives to the principle of nation first they remained engaged in their work with devotion and never expected any reward for it the satisfaction on the face of those for whom they are working is the biggest award for them the pride of our countrymen has risen by honoring such dedicated people i may not be able to take the names of all the padma awardees here but i definitely request you to know in detail about the inspirational life of these padma awardees and tell others as well friends today when we are discussing our republic day during the azadi ka amrit mahotsav i will also mention an interesting book here a very interesting subject has been discussed in this book which i received a few weeks ago the name of this book is india the mother of democracy and it has many excellent essays india is the largest democracy in the world and we indians are also proud of the fact that our country is also the mother of democracy democracy is in our veins it is in our culture it has been an integral part of our work for centuries by nature we are a democratic society dr ambedkar had compared the buddhist monks union to the indian parliament he described it as an institution where there were many rules for motions resolutions quorum voting and counting of votes baba sahib believed that lord buddha must have got inspiration from the political systems of that time there is a small but famous village in tamil nadu utir meru here an inscription of 1100 to 1200 years ago surprises the whole world this rock edict is like a mini constitution it has been explained in detail how the gram sabha should be conducted and what the procedure for selection of its members shall be another example of democratic values in the history of our country is the anubhav mandapam of lord baseshwara of the 12th century here free debate and discussion were encouraged you will be surprised to know that it is even before the magna carta the republic traditions of the kakatiya dynasty kings of varangal were also very famous the bhakti movement furthered the culture of democracy in western india an article has also been included in the book on democratic spirit of the sikh pant which throws light on the decisions taken by the consensus of guru nanak dev ji the book also has good information on community driven and consensus driven decision making in orang and munda tribes of central india after reading this book you will feel how the spirit of democracy has been flowing in every part of the country for centuries as the mother of democracy we should constantly think deeply about this topic discuss it and also inform the world this will further strengthen the spirit of democracy in the country my dear countrymen if i ask you what is common between yoga day and our different types of coarse grains millets then you might think what is this comparison if i say that both have a lot in common you will be surprised in fact the united nations has taken the decision of both international yoga day and international year of millets after india's proposal secondly 
yoga is also related to health and millets also play an important role in health the third thing is more important a revolution is on the way because of public participation in both campaigns just as people have made yoga and fitness a part of their lives by taking active participation on a large scale similarly people are adopting millets on a large scale people are now making millets a part of their diet a huge impact of this change is also visible on the one hand the small farmers who traditionally used to produce millets are very excited they are very happy that the world has now started understanding the importance of millets on the other hand fpos and entrepreneurs have started efforts to market millets and make them available to people store